So now we're having a look at the asteroid screen. This will help you with familiarization of the asteroid components. And I'll also give you some terminology that you may find useful. We're now going to have a look at the asteroid screen. And this includes the task area, classes, variables, groups, and the various views that you will have available. This is the asteroid screen with a database currently open. We have a main toolbar. From this main toolbar, we're going to be looking at tabulation during this session. We then have the task area. This is where you put items into your rows and your columns for the tables that you're going to be running. We have the task toolbar. This is for the current task that you're running. So it allows you to look at things like settings. We have a number of different views. This view is called selection. We'll also be looking at report and grid. Most importantly, we have the data dictionary here on the left hand side. At the top of the data dictionary, you have classes and variables. The structure of the classes and variables is that you have a number of folders, which are the classes. These cannot be used within the rows, columns, etc. When you open each folder, each class, it will expand until you reach a variable. The variables are shown with this icon. The variable is like the question. So for this one, we would have Monday to Friday, what newspapers do you read? When you click on a variable, it will list the groups that are available within that variable. And these are like the answers. So the people that read the national or the people that read financial news. You can put variables or groups within the table, the rows and the columns, etc. The tabs at the bottom will vary depending on which database you're using. They allow you to use find so that you can find specific groups or variables. And we have the private tab. Private definitions are covered in a later training session. If you hover your mouse over labels, a tooltip will pop up with the full text. In addition, you are able to stretch this bar out to display the full name. In the next session, we'll get started by creating a simple table.